What types of participants or subjects can you have in case studies? We're talking about that right now. Hi, everybody. I'm Lee Hoff. I'm teaching academia.com, and I'm all about giving you the tools you need to navigate academia and make your best impact. We are talking about case study research, and today we're going to be looking at the types of subjects or participants that you can have in a case study. So with a case study, the nice thing about that is you get to bound what constitutes a case, okay? Obviously, that's going to be connected to your research question, okay? Your research question is going to help us determine if it's you know, a person, multiple people, an event, et cetera. But anything can really be bound as a case. So, right, like I said, cases can be people. It can be one. It can be a multi-case study, okay? You can have, um, you know, one, two, three, four, five people, right? And you probably don't want a lot more than five. Um, individual, right? And a person or a group of people can be a case in and of themselves, right? So one person can be a case, but you might also have five people in your study, and each one of those people can be an individual case that's related to your research question, helping you understand it in some way. You can also have a group, right? You can be studying a class as a whole. A class could be a case study, a group of friends, a subset of students, a family, right? Those can all be considered cases, all right? And the family is the unit of measurement, right? Or a class could be a unit of measurement. So it doesn't have to be necessarily an individual person that is a case in a case study, although of course it can be. Um, you can study a location, all right? So things like a gym, a restaurant, a community, a city, a university, right? All of those can be considered cases, all right? Again, how you decide what your case is goes back to your research question. So any, when it's anything like a location, a group, people, you can sort of see how a case study could be long-term where you might be studying it for six, eight months, a year, but you might have something that's shorter than that. You could have an event, all right? So you might have a, a really popular event coming up that you want to study that's going to last, you know, maybe it's going to be one day, maybe it's going to be half a day, and you might study some things leading up to that event um, and maybe you might look at some things that happen after that event that's all related, but that event is going to be the main event, right? And that's going to be your case. So case study research, right? It can be once you decide on how you're going to bound it, what's going to constitute a case, then you can decide, you know, from this list here, sort of which one of these things makes sense, obviously. And then based on who, what, or where you're studying and what your research question is, that will dictate um, how much data you need uh, to collect, how long you need to be in the field in order for you to get results that are valid and reliable. So if you like that video and you want to learn more, come on over, join me in the next one.